I'm currently in Germany volunteering on a horse farm and I thought that this video was going to be all about horses but in reality this time in my life has become less about horses and more about not quitting. So many days is yet to come So many times has come to pass Too many moments put aside Getting out alive. So what does that actually mean? It means that I came to this farm with pretty high hopes for what it was going to entail, and that did not include really unhappy workers. It didn't include eating our meals in near silence. I also didn't think it would include not really getting instructions on what I'm supposed to be doing, so I just kind of had to learn from emulating others. Too many moments put aside Getting out alive Getting out alive Writing letters in the sand So things turned out a little bit different than I expected coming in and kind of made me feel like what am I even doing here? And so now we're getting to the not quitting part. I actually have a friend who's stationed in the military over here in Germany and so part of me very much wanted to just quit and run away to his house because he happens to have a spare bed and I am going to be hanging out with him at the end of this but I literally I was supposed to spend like over two weeks at this farm and on day two I was like I think I might just leave on day three I don't know how long I can deal with this like general unhappiness around me a weird situation that I'm in and so I was just like life is too short this is too weird I like weirdness but not this kind of weirdness and so I was really considering just bailing now I've stuck it out I'm on my second week and I bet you can guess where this is going it's gotten better it's not awesome it is still very much what it was at the beginning but I think as time goes by, you start to get more comfortable with people, they start to get more comfortable with you, and then the big key has been, I've started riding again. Lost to ocean's gentle hand Through the sunrise I will thrive The other thing was that on the first couple of days at the farm, I was constantly worrying about like, is a horse going to kick me? Is a horse going to bite me? Is a horse going to trample me? I thought that I loved horses and then all of a sudden I had this other existential crisis of like, do I even like horses? I seem to be scared of them. And I was too scared to ride for the first like at least four days. And then I finally got back on a horse and it's just been so fun. I've gotten so sore. It's just been really amazing to reconnect with that side of myself. So I think that the turning point really came when I got back in the saddle. This takes us to the main point of the video, which is not quitting or at least not quitting too soon. I do believe in strategic quitting when a situation is actively bad, but this wasn't so much a bad situation as a deeply disappointing situation and kind of an uncomfortable situation. And so I think that there is something to be said for relearning lessons and dealing with disappointment as meh as that kind of is as you're going through it. And then the second thing is that I've really pushed myself outside my comfort zone here in a way that I just can't in San Francisco because I just know how to navigate the city so well and I know how to do my job well and it really takes something like this to kind of push you outside your comfort zone and make you kind of relearn everything from scratch and I think being pushed in that way is also really good for a person. Through the sunrise I will thrive Getting out alive Getting out alive When you find that open door You gotta let them love you more Tender hearts will always fight 
darkness of the Oh